beyond. 11th of January 1999. Roger Sylvester, a local council worker, is restrained by eight police officers outside his home. He sustains numerous injuries during the arrest, which leaves him in a coma on a life support machine. Seven days later, Roger dies. We need to establish the truth as quickly as possible as to how Roger, a fit and healthy 30-year-old man, came to a horrific and premature death after being detained by the police. Thank you. I have a card he sent me on my last birthday, September gone, which I will read out to you. The card says to mom, this is to let you know that I love you very much. I appreciate all the things you have done for me. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. St. John chapter 14, verse one. Have a happy birthday with lots of love and kisses, and I'm praying that you may have many, many more from your son, Roger. I look around at this woman, I see so many familiar faces, and I offer the family my sympathy and my condolences. This was me sitting up there nearly three years ago when Brian Douglas was murdered. I'm the sister of Brian Douglas. The faces that I see are so familiar and it, the words that I've heard this family express are so familiar. The way you had to wait and make a decision to turn the machine off is so familiar. You lived it, I lived it. It's not easy. I'd also like to take this opportunity for what it's worth to invite a member of the family on April the 12th to visit Mr. Straw. We've arranged